Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Morata. Thanks for joining me again for another Arbin Art of Phrasing video. Today, I'll be playing number 27, Friends of My Youth by George Barker. In this piece, I'd like to focus on the coordination between our air and our tongue. You'll see that there are lots of groupings of articulations mixed with slurs throughout this piece. And these happen as you're moving up and down a lot. Students often play these groupings too choppy and don't have a very smooth connection. So one suggestion that I often make is to practice the grouping slurred first by slurring one or two bars in a row. When you get it as smooth as you can, then you can add the articulations back in while making sure that your air is exactly the same as it was when you were slurring. I think of this coordination as a simple pyramid, sort of like the food pyramid. So it's basically pointless then? For basic sound production, the bottom half of this pyramid would be our air support. Above that in the pyramid would be our tongue. This encompasses our articulation and our tongue position. Above that would be our embouchure. So for basic sound production, we're always working to coordinate our air, our tongue, and our embouchure. I always think of it as if we're building a house. You need a solid foundation first before putting on the roof or the shutters. When you add a roof onto a house, the foundation stays the same. If the foundation crumbled when you added the roof, it would all be pointless. It's the same with trumpet. When you have a solid air support and you add articulation, the only thing that should change is the gentle striking of the tongue. Don't let your air change just because your tongue is doing something different. Again, the easiest way to practice this is to slur and then tongue, then slur, then tongue, over and over and over again. Every time you add the tongue, the air should stay the same. Obviously, once we start using big accents and staccato, there might be a slight change, but our default place should be a place of steady and unchanging air, regardless of what the tongue is doing. Thanks for joining me again for another Art of Phrasing video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the upcoming videos. Happy practicing, and I'll see you soon.